Okay, so here's the uh, double source setup, and um, I discovered that the two two emitters in parallel actually do do provide more um, electromagnetic field strength, and uh, I've done it over here as well. These this antenna, so to speak, is shorter, and it does actually produce a, a slightly weaker signal. Um, and uh, yeah, so pardon the mess here, but I, I needed to get everything away from uh, sources. I have the light on now just for demonstration purposes, but um, but essentially, um, just to show what I'm going to do, um, I'll start here in the middle and then <coughs> start here, I'm sorry, at one end, and then work my way um, slowly over to the other. And then instead of just so showing um, numerical values, uh, I've set up processing to take the serial data and then display it on a graph, uh, which I think is much more uh, illustrative of what's going on. Um, and, and then also I'll continue on the outside and show how it drops off to zero. So essentially drops off to zero out here at over six inches, comes in um, about halfway. Uh, Again, these are arbitrary values that you'll eventually see, and I'll explain that when we we look at it. Uh, come across here, show that you know there's a peak here, and then it'll drop down, not to zero, but drop down, and then come back up as I approach this node over here. And then um, I won't go on the outside here because uh, the computer and my power source or whatever over here is just interfering too much. It it does actually drop down a little bit, but then it pretty quickly starts to come back up. So there's definitely some ambient e electromagnetic field over towards my computer. So I'm going to turn the light off now and then uh, show the processing output. Okay, so here's our output. Um, you can see here that it's tracing. Um, the original code was set up for uh, 1028 um, positions. I, I actually mapped it to 255 because that's actually what's outputted, um, which gives, uh, you know, I can fill more of the screen. So max up here is uh, 255 and then uh, obviously zero here. And it just traces across. I also changed the code, the processing code, to make this wider. The original code was only like 300 pixels wide. I made it, tw or I'm sorry, 400. I made it 1200 just so you know I could watch it for a while before it before it um, looped back so now I'm, uh, I'm coming back towards the uh, two, two uh, node sources and now I'm near one source and then slowly moving over towards the other source now I'm approaching it, it's, it's climbing back up and um, I'm pretty close. And you notice it, well, I guess it does come up pretty close. Let me do that again, now that we're back at the start. Uh, back towards the other node. Um, slowly moving across the six inches. Sort of, you can see here's dead center, so it's plateauing out. Um, I won't speculate what <laughs> integer value that is out of 255, but now I'm approaching the other node. And now I'm, you know, within a quarter of an inch. Um, now I'll move to the outside, as I described earlier. Um, and then I will continue on away from the node. And now it's dropped to zero. Let's pop back up. Dropped to zero. I'm about six inches away. Uh, coming back in. Coming back in. Now I'm about an inch away. And now... I'm about a quarter of an inch. So again, coming back the other way, quarter inch away from the shorter antenna, moving towards the longer double antenna. They're both double antennas, as I showed. Plat here's the middle. So there's definitely some, you know, they're they're supporting each other to some degree. They're interfering with each other, um, or I should say, superimposing. And oh, it is a bit higher with the longer double antenna. So I just really want to quickly justify my claim that, so now I'm in, in the center of the two nodes, and um, and now, so the two nodes are six inches apart. So if I'm in the center of two nodes, then I'm three inches away from each node, now, or antenna, so to speak. 
So if I move three inches outside of the system so that I'm not between both the nodes and I'm on the outside of one of the nodes, the same distance away, in other words, three inches, note that it, the, the uh, electromagnetic field is lower. Um, so now I'm, again, inside. Wait till it recycles. So I'm, I'm inside at three inches. Now I'm outside at three inches. So what, what that demonstrates is that, that, the, um, that the field between the two nodes is stronger uh, at a certain distance, in this case three inches, than it is at three inches outside um, the two nodes. which shows that the, the two f uh, fields of each respective node are in fact reinforcing each other uh, to some degree. So just for documentation purposes, I just wanted to uh, follow up on um, uh, you know, all the settings. So uh, right now we're at about 14 volts input. And um, unfortunately, I don't know if this input fried one of my 555s, but to do this uh, iteration of the experiment, I actually had to replace one of my 555 ICs, which was working fine yesterday. Um, but for some reason today, when I started it up, um, it didn't seem to be working, so I replaced it, and the circuit's working uh, again with the new IC. So I don't know. I checked the ratings, um, the specifications for the the data sheet um, for the max voltage, and it, it seemed to be well within, you know, that 14 volts is within a, at least a couple volts of maximum. Um, but uh, I'll have to I'll have to explore that further. Let me move this. I also just wanted to quickly. Uh, let me let me zoom in. So, sorry, it's a little dark, but um, I just wanted to show that um, again. I'm getting a nice square wave out of the two five 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 oscillator circuits. Um, here's the one, and then here is the other. And so it looks like their outputs are about equal. Um, again, it's about 14 volts input, and then I have uh, 0.1. 0.1 volts per division and about five divisions for each. So that's about half a volt um, output. And again, it's the two thirds, uh, one third duty cycle. And um, yeah, so I think that's just for documentation. Um, and I'll check the frequency again, but uh, I, uh, I'll, I'll assume um, it, it's about 166 hertz. And uh, yeah, so that's it for now.